Hello and, and welcome to a, a short educational snack. Um, and in this little video clip here, we're going to concentrate on if, if we have a new Rails application. Well, we want to make sure that our landing page um, for our web application actually hits our new page. So what I've done here is I've, I've already just created a, a new project. So just you're using the Rails new space my app for my project name. Now, as you can see here, I'm going to navigate inside of, of my app. And when I do an ls inside the directory structure, you can see that we, we have the typical Rails file hierarchical structure. So what I want to do is I want to generate a new scaffold. So just in just as in the previous example, where we, we generated a scaffold to have some simple CRUD functionality for a new model. So using the, the keyword Rails, generate scaffold for a user. And I'm gonna have a name, which is a string and also a description, which is also going to be a string. So the scaffold is gonna build up this CRUD functionality for me and it builds all my test cases, it builds all of my um, user interfaces for it. And I can simply, if I, if I navigate up here, we can see here that it also is after creating what you call a migration file. And I need to run that mig migration file now. So I use rake, which is Ruby make, db, db migrate. Okay, and after I run this migration file, I have my new tables have been generated. So if I launch the server, using the Rails space S to launch the Rails server, I can see that um, Rails, it's telling me here that it's booting up the WebRick server and Rails 3.2.8 application starting in development mode, running off the local host on port 3000. So let me check that out. So I open up Firefox and I go to the local host running off port 3000 and we can see the usual welcome on board yeah you're now writing ruby on rails this is the typical user interface that we have our landing page for our application so if i type forward slash users i'm now after landing on my page associated with the users Okay, so the new scaffold that I created. So I should have CRUD functionality here to create different type of, different types of, of users. Create that user, I go back and I can see here I'm listing my users now. I can do a show, I can show the information, I can edit the information, I can make changes. And now I can go back and we can see this information here and I can also destroy that information. But my landing page where my application resides on is still just sitting on port 3000, which is this welcome on board application. So what I want to do is I want to just kill that now. Um, I'm going to leave the server running up here. I'm going to open up a new terminal, okay? And I can see here that I should be in Rails video examples. Which is where I am here, sorry, Rails video examples and my app. So I run an, an LS there, I can see the typical Rails structure. So we have to do two things, okay? So first thing we have to do is we need to delete that index page. Okay, so I need to go and find and delete that index page, which is okay. So that index page is located in the public directory. So if I go cd space public, do an ls, I can see here that I have an index.html file. I simply do a orm for remove index.html hit return and now when I view it again I can see that it's no longer there okay um, so now if I fire up my web page 
I go to localhost colon 3000. Now I get what's called the routing error. Okay, so what does a routing error mean? Well, we we should know by looking at some of the other videos that Rails works off an, an MVC or model view controller. Typically what happens is we have queries come into the browser. These queries are normally in the forms of HTTP verbs. So here we have a GET request. And what happens is this goes into our roots.orb file. And the roots.orb file takes this request from the browser and it decides which controller and which actions should be associated with executing this. And then from the controller, it goes off and grabs information from the models and then interacts with the views to display the appropriate information out to the user. So I'm getting here no match for a root um, inside of my, my controller, so that's okay. So what I have to do is, so step one was remove the index file. Step two is going to be to make a redirection. So to change the direction now to go to my user's index page, okay? Because what, well, what's, what's happened so far is we, we have an interface, so we know that we can navigate over to view the users. We just need to now simply make sure that we can actually get there from the landing page. So after running an LS here, I'm back in my, my starting folder. And the file I'm looking for is actually inside of the config directory. So I navigate into the config, and it's the roots.orb file. Okay, so how I'm going to open that up using the G edit, which is the name of my text editor on, on this, this machine. I'm going to go space and then the name of my file, so roots.orb. When I hit return, I can see there's lots of stuff happening here, okay? Um, we're not going to worry too much about it at this point. I'm going to simply remove everything here with, with that has a hash beside it is simply a comment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete down to this point in the file, okay? All of the blue that we have just deleted were simple examples of how you can use it. So we can see down here, right, it says in the comment, you can have the root of your site rooted with the root. Just remember to delete the public forward slash index file. So we've already deleted that file. So now let's uncomment this and we're, we have a special case of a root here and this is the, the directory, it's so the initial landing page of our, of our file and it's telling us to root to we have the users hash the index which is the method so the controller followed by the method to be displayed I'm going to save that I'm going to close my roots.orb file and now I'm going to open up my new application. And as you can see here, when I hit the localhost on port 3000, it's now getting redirected to exactly where I want it to be. Okay, so no matter if you're running a very simple application or a very complex application, if you want to change that initial landing page, you need to delete the defaulted index.html page located inside of the public directory. And then you need to go into your roots file inside of your config directory, open that up and make sure your roots are going to the appropriate place. Okay, thanks for listening. Um, I hope that was of some help.